Welcome, welcome, one and all internet goers. I'm the Snipe, and it's about that time for me to start bitching on the internet. <clears throat> now, um, a friend of mine has come to mention a couple stories that have really bugged me lately. Um, one of them is about bullying in general, and um, the person who gets bullied actually gets repercussions for it, for trying to actually stand up to it. Um, and then the other two are bullies that are, you know, being really destructive to people, all because, you know, that person's a fan of something that they don't agree with. Um, now, the first story is about this kid. He was like 10 or 11, and he happens to be a fan of My Little Pony. Um, now, he gets bullied on a regular basis because of this, and it pushed him to the point of hanging himself. And, you know, I don't know if he's ever woken up from it or whatnot. I'm, I'm not sure if he's still alive. I think he is, but I haven't caught up on this story recently. It was a few months ago, I think. But, um, you know, says he's got brain damage. They had to perform an emergency tracheotomy on him so he could breathe properly. Um, but, yeah, all because... He was a fan of this show that they they had to bully him to the point where he emotionally snapped. And then there's another instance, you know, a kid who likes that show has like a backpack. And again, kids are making fun of him, they're bullying him on it, and he went up to the principal and told them about this. And the principal was like, well, maybe you should grow up and not use this backpack. You fucking kidding me? You know? What's the problem with being a fan of the show? So what if you're a fan of something like Pinkie Pie? You know? I mean, yeah, she can be annoying. You know? But, I mean, what's the problem with being a fan of this character? Uh, okay, well. <clears throat> anyway. But the bottom line is that you shouldn't be oppressed because there's something that you like that people don't agree with, okay? There's a point where being judgmental goes too far. People can't accept things anymore. And it's really sickening, actually. Here's another story that's been bugging me. There's a kid with special needs, and he has an iPad. I'm not sure if it's, you know, issued to him by the school or it's one that he personally owns. But he was constantly being bullied by these people and people even like teachers and I think even like the principals and stuff even like you know knew about it didn't do nothing what does he do he catches them in the act he records them bullying him him telling them to stop they won't and you know what happens the principal calls the cops on this kid after he shows them the footage of what they're doing to him. And the kids, and, 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 this, and the cops take him in, and he gets charged for illegal wiretapping. So now he's the victim, and now he's getting punished for, for trying to do something about it. I didn't realize that bullies had so much power, and that our system of education is letting all this shit happen. I mean, kids can't even stand up for themselves. They're supposed to let it happen. Let bullies do whatever they want. You can't fight back. You'll get suspended or expelled for it. You can't catch them in the act with that. They'll, they'll charge you for illegal wiretapping. You can't even come to the principal or the teacher about it because they're going to say, well, it's going to happen. You're just going to have to grow up. Wow. Wow. I'd like to find all those people and bitch slap them and say, you know what? Do your fucking job, okay? You're in the education system. You're supposed to be teaching children how to be like reasonable adults. And you're not doing that. You're making it worse for people. The bullies, they're not going to learn from their mistakes. They're not going to learn that, you know what, you shouldn't do that to people. They're just going to keep on doing it. And you know what? The people that are getting bullied, eventually, they're going to snap. 
They're either going to try to kill themselves, they're going to be bullies themselves, or even worse, they're going to snap completely. They're going to go and get their father's or mother's gun, bring it to school, and start killing those kids. And you know what? That's all on you. That's all on the principal. That's all on the teachers for letting shit like that happen. Oh, but you know what? They're not going to get blamed. No, the <laughs> after that, the bullies, you know, they'll be the victims. Oh, they didn't deserve that. The teachers will be the victims. They didn't deserve that. They could have prevented it from happening. But no, they didn't. They let it go. They let it keep building up. And <clears throat> they say that, you know, uh, that these kids who do this, you know, they're terrible people, but you know what, I think, I think that we as a civilization, we as a society, we make that happen. We let that happen. We create our monsters by neglect, by letting things happen, by not stepping in. We're part of the problem, and we're too ignorant to see it. Yeah, I might take a little bit of uh, heat for this, but it's the truth. Prove me wrong. Till next time, folks.